Okay, uh, in this series, we'll be talking about uh, the configuration of uh, the TIOC camera. Okay, so I'm inside the TIOC camera now. So these are, these are the interface you'll be seeing, the live, the playback, in case you have a recorded event you want to view. This is the playback. Then we'll have the settings where you do different settings on this camera. Okay, and we'll have the alarm point and uh, the logout. Okay, so we have uh, some features here. Uh, here is the relay out. Here is uh, the warning light. So once I trigger it, it uh, blinks this light, okay? And also I have uh, the alarm, which is this. Okay, and this is uh, the snapshot and uh, the audio, okay? So I'm going to do just uh, one or two settings here on this uh, camera in this video then let's see how it's going to work so first of all i'm going to go to alarm and activate ivs and uh, motion detection this is the two i want to work on now so next is to go to settings okay so by uh by default if you go to video detection is as you can see is uh it's not enabled so uh it doesn't work anything now so I'm going to set it to sound an alarm. So if you watch, you'll have a different uh, voice, voice that have been encrypted inside the camera, something like uh, no climbing, something like a danger zone, keep away, and uh, many, many, many of them. So any of this one that we activate, it, uh, it will be what uh, the camera will be outputting, okay? So you can set your camera in a particular place and set uh, very cool and only and also so uh you know just different different uh here it says no parking no parking so you can actually point your camera and draw some kind of uh lines there and say uh whenever you see any car parking there please activate no parking okay so that is it for this so but i'm just going to use this alarm here and say save okay so i'm just going to enable and save i'll just pass in front of the camera and see what's going to happen okay the play count is three so that's why it sounded three times okay another says okay let me just use another another uh function here let me use no parking so i'm going to pass in front of the camera again just listen carefully no parking here no parking here okay no parking here so uh the next one is this remember if you want to work on the ivs you need to deactivate this so i'm no going to that i'm going to deactivate that no parking here somebody just pass again that's no why i see nothing nice so ivs intelligent video surveillance first of all you need to activate the smart fan make sure it's activated yeah, if you SMD watch feature. yeah that is the smd feature so if you are watching here you say ivs so it must be activated before you can do your ivs settings okay so i'm going to come to this ivs there is another feature uh of this camera i'm explaining now so i'm going to add this is us here so i'm going to add uh this is a strip line okay let me remove this i'm going to add so there are two functions you can add here you can either add uh, a stripped wire a trip wire or an intrusion okay before the trip wire it's just a single line you need to draw to in case let's just like say a fence you don't you there's a particular fence your camera is facing you don't want anybody to jump across the fence you just like setting it up a barbed wire or uh, an electric uh, wire but this one is invisible it's it will only trigger whenever some someone crosses that line okay. so whenever someone crosses that line it triggers the alarm it triggers the alarm and it says whatever you want it to so say with the normal alarm sound you hear it, if it's the 
or a setup or a voice that is being encrypted you see it then for the intrusion it's like a box a box any movement any movement within that box being drawn an alarm will trigger you are creating a box there either it can be a box a tripod depending on whatever um, uh, shape you want to draw mostly it made use of shapes okay first of all we'll be trying the uh, trip wire so i just uh, selected the trip wire and i'm going to click on draw okay this is a draw rule so let's allow it to uh, load so this is a draw rule so i'm going to say whenever someone passes along this way it should trigger an alarm so i'm going to click here and bring it down to somewhere here okay and also you can also set it whenever someone comes through this way it should trigger whenever someone comes through this way it should trigger so the setup is here here is the period period is uh, like the timing now you can set okay this uh, uh event should happen from this time to this time from this time to this time on monday from this time to this time on sunday from this time to this time on tuesday and so on and so forth okay this is just a period settings uh period uh, is a kind of uh it's kind of a uh let me say it's, it's a wide something to learn so uh, i think i'm going to do a separate video on the configuration of periods okay but in this video i'm going to just select all this a tutorial i'm going to select also all the days issue what from 12 in the midnight till 11 to 11 59 59 okay. so that means as we are now once i activate this it should be able to start functioning okay so i'm going to save and uh, the direction like i said both ways from here from here you should make the sound or from, from a, a to, to b. b or from b to a let's say a to b so that if the money you're coming back so let's say a to be okay. you have to increase the sensitivity so i'm going to increase the sensitivity okay. and uh target filter is to filter for both either human or vehicle if you can if you uncheck motor vehicle if vehicle passes there it won't trigger now in the case of where you are trying to detect human movement you will have to uncheck uh, motor vehicle so in case vehicle follow there a lot so that you won't have disturbance from vehicle but whenever human any human like you don't want someone tricking to pass through that area only vehicle should pass there then you can uh, uncheck the motor vehicle so in this our video we are going to be using human because uh we are inside uh, an office so there's no vehicle passing through and uh just human so we're going to be using human to do this tutorial so i'm going to uncheck for the motor okay then we'll have other setups here like the record relay we don't need this for now we'll have the relay out we don't need this for now for this video we'll have a uh, audio linkage that is how many times the audio linkage the how many times you want it to uh, to sound, sound the alarm now the relay out is for to add, add an, an external alarm system which you're going to do a video on that later. so if we have an external alarm system we can use this okay then the warning light you know just that light that is blinking and uh you will do it either flicker mode or standby mode you, you can show them the option so have to okay, okay here okay. just have one option okay for this there is only the, i think ptz camera has to okay we'll, we'll, we'll be having a video on ptz camera too okay but now i want to like uh change uh the voice what i want I think yeah, I should use climbing. okay. Let's use a uh, danger zone. Keep oh. a keep away. Okay, danger zone. Keep away. So uh, uh, this is the period, just like I showed you guys before. Then duration ten seconds. So you can yeah. set this, this from this one now is for the lighting, the lights. So the lighting when it should start and when it should stop. So we are setting it to be ten seconds. Okay and uh snapshot i don't think we need that do we need it no 
That's in case you want to see it should snap and save the picture of whoever is passing there. Okay, so I am no, we don't have a storage now, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm checking this. Now let's test our. So we choose the alarm. So we are going. Remember, it's boat. So uh, I'll be crossing A to B and B to A. So it should trigger. Okay. Now, I am coming back B to A. So this is our trip line. We have our A to B and B to A. So we set this to be both. And uh, I selected uh, this alarm. So I'm going to cross uh, B to A. And I'll still come back. Uh, I'm going to cross A to B and I'll still come back B to A. It should sound alarm on both. Okay, so let's go for the testing. Okay, that picture is for A to B. Now we are going to set up our, we are going to test our B to A. Now you can now come. So B to A, we are testing now. Okay. Actually, which is okay. Ready. Now, next step is setting up. For, we will need to add for um, our intrusion, which is this. Let's see intrusion. Let's look for a space to set up our intrusion, our, our kill box or our intrusion box, whatever you call it. And you say draw room. You say here. Mm -hmm. But now I select another box. I go here and select another box. I can even increase it. I say you can draw any shape you want. Now, now. For me to finish this, this, uh, this, uh, how do I call it? <laughs> it's not a square shape. It's my it's own design. <laughs> our our own shape. <laughs> <laughs> so I've set up that shape for me. Now I can either say this is my entry point. This is my entry point. It depends on the shape of the land you are having. Yeah. Or the shape of shape of the environment you're having. So and you must always put your entrance point to face. The gate or what this thing. Now, I can decide now to say this is my entrance point. So adjusting it. Mm -hmm. um, what is this entry? The reason why this is my entry is because this is the first point. Starting and point. I start, started drawing. So now I can say okay. Enter and exit, or only enter. If someone enters into the land, should trigger. But I'm doing it both enter and exit. Okay, and there's also appears there. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody just appear like yeah. appear I'm in sure. that particular position. Yeah, you can just okay. Yeah, why are you inside? Are you a ghost? You so so it means that yeah. maybe someone do, does not want to uh, cross those line and he just appeared. Yeah. Maybe a ghost. Yeah. Uh -huh. The it's alarm will still trigger. I say, okay, you <laughs> go back. <laughs> So yeah. the alarm is a trigger. Yeah, so we can also set up our this thing as well. Alarm, clicker, and seconds. Let's make it a danger zone. Uh, this sound. Okay. Danger zone. Keep away. Keep away. I can say period. There's a period for here. Settings. And select all. Save. Save. Now we can now we can also set up a vehicle for this. Since it's a land, we can set up vehicle so that once a vehicle packs into that or into that position, you don't want the box you don't want, it will trigger an alarm. An alarm. Now I said, mind you, the first line you draw is going to be what entry your entry point. So you always remember that 
you can adjust the position to any anywhere you want it to be that's it so let's save and try let's save okay now let's put it there let's save Okay. Now, the entry is that from the other side, and we are standing behind the help. If we enter and try to cross that lane, let's see. Yeah, so let cool. me try. Danger zone. Keep on. Danger zone. It's Keep triggering away. both for tripwire. Danger zone. Keep away. And the intrusion. Danger zone. Keep you are away. you are within the danger zone. Okay. So I will. Within the danger zone. I'll be returning back now. And you have you have crossed the trip wire. Okay. Come back. Danger zone. Now you also cross he crossed the trip wire. He crossed the if you is where the this is the trip wire. This is the trip wire. He crossed the trip wire. And this is the danger zone. Okay. Zone. Trip it's also important to set both trip wire and intrusion in case let's say a particular danger place. You tell you give the person a warning ahead, danger zone, keep away. Then once he crosses the into that danger zone, the alarm can now beep. Okay. So there are many setup like you can have as many as uh, uh, possible a uh, trip wire and as many as possible intrusion you want to have. Okay. Just your own configuration, how you want your alarm to be sound and how you want uh, people to to be out of a particular place you don't want them to be so your own settings is uh suits you. your own settings should suit what you want to do okay but are just the basic settings uh in this ivs uh, function so uh that's just all about uh this uh configuration so that is for this particular video uh i think maybe with time i'll be doing video on other settings okay so under IVS that is all about that. We have also alarm. Okay, there are still other things you can know here. Abnormality, there are other settings here, you know, like uh SD, you know, when your SD, when there's no SD, what should happen? When there's SD error, what should happen? You know, capacity warning and stops like that. Disarming, you know, you can disarm everything, you know, like the relay out, send email, audio, even the warning light and storage and so on and so forth. So there are other settings again to be done in this camera but this is just the ones we have for you guys in this video <sighs> okay thank you so much and uh, please if you have any other question you want to ask if you have um, any trouble with what we have shown you guys today please don't forget to comment on the comment section below and if you are enjoying our videos please try and subscribe I'm begging you subscribe to the youtube channel like our videos if you learn something from it and also comment and always uh review uh anything at all you want us to help you on our social media links are there facebook link is there whatsapp group link is there you can chat us up and uh we'll respond to your questions and it is not hard to click like and uh, subscribe just click on the subscribe button it's just down there just click. Click now, beg. beg now, beg. We're begging you now. You know. Don't make a mess for you. Don't make a mess for you. Please, guys, please click. Click on the like button. Click on the subscription. It's not. It's not very hard. Thank you, guys, and let's see in our next video.